TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Monday morning. We got 30 minutes to go until the start of trading. Checking in on markets right now. You have the S&Ps up about four points, trading at 42.29, made it as high as 42.38 right out of the gate last night at about 10 p.m. Eastern time. We were up at that level, uh, excuse me, at about 8 p.m. Eastern time. We were up at that level until about almost 10 p.m. Eastern time Sunday evening. From there, we're off about eight points on the S&Ps right now from the highs, but positive by four on the session coming into the opening bell. Tech stocks pulling back a bit. You see the spike we had Friday on the jobs number. We make it up to a high of almost 13,820. We're trading right now almost right back to the level we were at prior to Friday's jobs number, 13,664. Down 45 points in the NASDAQ 100. The Dow continuing to show strength. Check out this Dow. 34,809 right now within 200 points of 35,000 in the Dow. You put this thing on a daily and we're breaking away from the trend line to the upside. 34,805. The Russell down five points. 2261. Crude. Let's jump to one of the headlines really this weekend. How about a hack? A hack. A digital hack knocking out a pipeline. For a third day, fuel traders working to supply East Coast by tanker and barge as a pipeline, basically ransomware. Uh, pretty interesting how all this stuff in terms of a physical um, operation, like a gas pipeline, get knocked out by an online hack. Nonetheless, that's the case. We'll jump over to some of the commodities. You have crude up 43 cents. You have natural gas down two pennies jumping into the gasoline, though. Check out these pops we saw last night. Look at that pop to 221. We back down to some normalcy at 215 right now. Gold contract continuing to catch a bid. We're coming up to the highs we had a Friday. Gold up $10, make it $11 at 1842.30. Silver's up almost 40 pennies at 27.86. And notes and bonds, there's your spike on Friday, 133.16. This morning, we're up about two points right now. Excuse me, two ticks, up two ticks in the 10 year. We got a yield of 1.575. Percent. Uh, we got some big economic indicators this week as well. Last week, it was all about non-farm payrolls on Friday for the month of April. We get April retail sales this Friday. And we also get CPI data on Wednesday. So we're going to get a little inflation data on Wednesday. We get retail sales. That'll be a number they'll be looking for. We'll talk about that in the program coming up. That number out on Friday. We have some earnings this week. We got Disney coming out with their numbers. Uh, Coinbase out with their numbers. And we got Binance, one of the biggest crypto exchanges in the world. Uh, stopping redemptions. And uh, how about that Dogecoin act on Saturday Night Live? Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back.